G'day, and thank you for joining me on today's webcast. My name is Jacques de Jager, and I'm the head of Retail Portfolio Solutions here at Momentum Investments. The intent of today's webcast is really to give you, our trusted partners and clients, a little bit of insight into how portfolios have been managed. I think it's it's fair to say that the start of this year has been anything but but ordinary, and in times like these, it's important for us to as we manage the momentum focus and target fund of fund ranges, to give you an update in terms of how, not only how the market has performed and what has driven the market, but also how we've positioned the portfolios both before, during, and after the, the most recent market, market crisis. I think it's fair to say that um, at the beginning of 2020, we were looking forward to, to perhaps a year of, of better returns. That follows um, certainly the last five or six years of fairly lackluster and disappointing returns from especially growth assets. Um, we've seen domestic equities and property for that matter, both underperforming what our long-term real expectations for those asset classes were. So in saying that, uh, the first quarter of 2020 would, would certainly be remembered for, for the um, very quick spread and the impact that COVID-19 has had on both financial markets and investment portfolios. As the pandemic spread from east to west, we saw domestic equities sell off in, in line with global equities, as both these asset classes lost close on 25 or 26 percent in base currency terms. At the same time, domestic, the, the domestic defensive assets weren't spared either, as both your normal traditional um, nominal bonds as well as inflation linked bonds sell off close to 8%. Cash was the only place to hide during this time, as the asset class itself was, together with global bonds, the only two asset classes to have delivered a positive return over this period. The global bond return was by no, was, was really um, bolstered or, or supported by the, the weakening currency. As we saw the rent loss lose close to 23% over the quarter. As we look at the portfolio um, positioning um, going into the crisis, uh, as I mentioned, we, we were more neutral in terms of growth versus defensive assets. And within growth assets, um, our preference was certainly for domestic equities over domestic properties. Um, we have since the latter part of 2018 held the view that there was a fair amount of risk uh, embedded within the property sector and we've expressed that risk view. Um, with an overweight into domestic equities rather than, than property. That obviously served the portfolio quite well during the sell-off, um, as we said, with, with property selling off close to 50%. From, a, from, a, from other perspectives, um, within f uh, the fixed interest component or the fixed income component, we, we held a view that we would rather overweight cash relative to inflation-linked bonds. Um, and, and really that comes down to more a risk-adjusted return we saw more certainty within the cash asset class rather than ILBs. At the same time, we, we also held, a, held an overweight exposure to global assets, which we felt uh, provided more diversification and greater, greater upside. Now, all those four factors um, all benefited the portfolio during the sell-off. <clears throat> of course, however, as we look at these portfolios and given their positioning for, um, for the real return expectations, it's fair to, to also at the same time point out that these portfolios generally held a larger growth exposure than some other funds in the market. As we went through the crisis, I think it's fair to say that we've been very active in managing the portfolios. Um, of course, we, we, we had to contend with um, less liquidity than usual, especially in a fixed income component of not only the fund, but of the market itself. But we have taken the opportunity to selectively reduce our property exposure further. And this is really on the back of deteriorate, deteriorating fundamentals for the, for the asset class and the sector itself, especially as the effects of the COVID-19 and the subsequent lockdown started to emerge more and more. So as we've reduced the property exposure, we've, we've taken the opportunity to redeploy some of those assets into more defensive um, asset classes and strategies, more on a fixed income perspective. At the same time, the weakening of the RAND has also allowed us to, to effectively take some profit uh, on, the, on the offshore side of the portfolio. And again, the proceeds of that would have been redeployed domestically and in defensive asset classes. 
at the same time, within our equity component, um, it's it's actually a component of the fund that, that did exceptionally well during this time. We've also used the opportunity in, in tilting the portfolio more towards a quality slant, and therefore looking at portfolios, or at least counters, that offer better diversification and stronger balance sheets. At the same time, from an overlay perspective, we introduced a currency edge on the portfolios as well, that would protect the portfolio from from currency strength from this point forward. As we look forward, um, I guess it's 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 difficult to say whether whether or not we we will see a V, a U, or a W shaped recovery from an economic perspective. Momentum's bear base case at this point in time is for a U shaped recovery, which which really lends itself to a more protracted um, recession over the next couple of months. And as we go into quarter three, um, for us to see some, some uptick from an economic perspective. With that positioning or that view in mind, we, we, we remain cautiously positioned within our portfolios. We, mount, we maintain an underweight exposure to growth assets relative to defensive assets. And at the same time, we have a more neutral weighting in terms of global assets. Again, um, the RAND view uh, speaks to that as well. It is for me important to, at this stage as well to also remind you that as a portfolio investment team or portfolio management team, um, that both myself and the team are, are online, we are monitoring events. And of course, it's important throughout this, this phase of, of not only the market, but I guess of life as well, that we keep an eye on the ball and that we manage these portfolios on, a, on an active basis. We um, constantly have our ear to the ground and as the situation changes, we will certainly adjust to that and make portfolio management changes as well. I thank you for the opportunity for this um, relatively short webcast. I hope to speak to you soon. Um, stay safe and go well.